Are you in a rut? Perhaps you're in a rut and you don't even realize it or you know you're in a rut but you're not quite sure how to get out. Are you where you wanna be with regards to the condition of your skin, your appearance, your energy, your fitness, your weight, your wardrobe? Let's talk about how we all can get in a rut and how to get out. Hi, it's Crystal, your very own personal beauty pro. I am a beauty industry professional. I've done hundreds of faces of all the races and I've worked in so many facets of the beauty industry. What I also love to do in addition to doing what I love is to provide you with edutainment and that is education and entertainment through beauty. I am back as if weeks have not gone by since my last long form content. Mm. On to the topic of today's video, I wanted to talk about being in a rut and how to get out of it. Today we're gonna to start with four starter tips to get out of a rut and we're gonna share some fun products that can help with that. After the global crisis, our lives are forever changed. And one of the things I noticed as someone who has a passion, especially for fellow girls, is that so often under pressure, first thing to go is the way we care for ourselves. Our health, our fitness, our inner and outer beauty are often the first things to go. Once they're gone, sometimes it's so hard to get them back even when you want to. There's the addition of so many people that don't realize the value of taking care of themselves and presenting themselves in the best way possible. Some people equate that with being vain or self-centered, but it absolutely is not. Caring for your appearance and grooming is even something you will see in nature with the animals. So of course it's much more important with us, our well-being, how we feel about ourselves, and the effect that it has on others. I cannot tell you how many times over the last couple of years I have been shocked to get a compliment about my makeup or how I look when I have a mask on. And it's not that I'm necessarily wearing a ton of it. Sometimes so many people have stopped giving attention to their appearance that even when you do a little something, it appears as if you've done so much to others. Not only do you lift your own spirits, you lift that of others, and you improve the perception of yourself, which is valuable in this life. One reason people give up is because they get overwhelmed by setting too many goals at once, and so they give up altogether. So we're gonna start with four and hopefully build upon those. We've got a few months left in the year, so that's a nice gauge to judge our progress between now and the end of the year. Step one is water. How many times have we been told how important water is and yet so often you will still hear people year after year talk about how they know they don't drink enough water. Water regulates so many things in the body. It's so good for your health and it's amazing for your appearance. Get yourself some really pretty water containers and have them strategically placed so that you get your water in throughout the day. No more excuses. That is an easy step that you can get done starting tomorrow. You will see a difference in a matter of days and a significant one in as little as a week. And I'll be sure to link where you can get some of my favorite pretty water bottle. Sleep. I cannot emphasize this enough. So many people brag about how little sleep they get. Not getting enough sleep is not a flex, <laughs> but the real flex is getting the proper amount of sleep most days of the week. And most people, it is estimated, need about eight to nine hours a day. Now, sometimes when you share with people that you need eight to nine hours, they'll be like, oh my God, eight to nine hours? Yes, that is normal for a normal human being. The four to six hours is not normal and that is contributing to depression, a lot of health problems, 
in some cases high blood pressure, diabetes, and being overweight, in addition to the toll it takes on your appearance. I've had so much talent sit in my chair, some that I have worked with more than once, some I'm meeting for the very first time, and I might say, oh, you haven't been resting well, or you're not getting as much water as you need. And they'll say, how do you know it is evident in the skin and eyes? The next thing is move. The first step, if you're not already regularly moving, is to walk outside. The last couple of years has moved us indoors more than ever for various reasons. That means a lack of sunlight. Sunlight, in addition to vitamin D, does so much for us. It is amazing how we are made and how we are meant to be in nature. Sun has also been discovered to even help with our gut microbiome. It lifts our mood, it helps our metabolism. Make time to go outside, look at the sky, feel the sun on your face, walk at a brisk pace. An added bonus of walking outside and getting some sunlight during the day is that studies show that getting sunlight during the day improves the quality of your sleep at night. In 30 days, you will see and feel a difference. And the fourth thing we are going to tackle is basic skin care. I know with all the information out there about skincare now and all the products, it can get overwhelming to the point where some people end up doing little to nothing. Skin care. We want a basic cleanse, moisturizer, and SPF, that's sun protection. A lot of people are still skipping that no matter how many times we hear and we know now that we all need it. Daily and each evening, cleanse and moisturize, and each day, SPF steadily for the next 30 days. Then you can build on that. Just to recap, that is going to be water, sleep, mood, and skincare to start getting us out of our rut. Those four steps are really the building blocks of beauty. And then anything you add in addition, makeup, fragrance, things of that nature, looks so much more beautiful. And that's what we're going to share next, a fabulous, of some new beauty arrivals. So Pat McGrath has some new releases, some new Divine Blush duos. They look too gorgeous to pass up. And also some new highlighters. And although we already have 1,317 highlighters, I just had to see what she was going to do with her latest highlighter. This first one is Venusian Sunrise. I am particularly curious about this more lavender shade. I'm always interested because brands don't do that shade that often in blush, something so blue-based, lavender, but it can be so super pretty when it's done right. The other duo is Night Bloom. I think it's obvious why I couldn't resist this. These shades are absolutely stunning. Paradise Glow looks like it's going to be that pretty combo for every look and every tone you might go for. And I have Cosmic Coral, which looks like it's going to be the coral that's leaning more pink. And that's paired in there with another nice neutral. Now, as I mentioned, we all have enough highlighters, but can we really have enough? Pat McGrath highlighters. I'm always curious as to what a brand is going to do to step it up, particularly in formula, but also what they could possibly do with yet another shade. And I can tell you just at first swatch, this is beautiful. Formula to the touch is beyond buttery and it melts into the skin. You can already tell this is going to be a stunner. Similar to bronzes we may have seen before, but yet it has a little unique peachy golden twist. We also have Venus Nectar, which I'm trying to show with care because it arrived broken not once, but twice, unfortunately. Fade is really an exquisite peach with a hint of gold in it. As a professional artist, of course, we have our go-to products that we know are gonna perform beautifully, but we also have that natural curiosity about what's new. As an everyday girl, by no means should you have the volume of makeup that an artist would have, or maybe someone who's doing something in the makeup industry. However, it is good to 
peruse your collection, declutter it, let go of those things that you have not used so that you can see the items that you know really work and you can start using them. And then once you have established your core items, then you can maybe introduce one or two new colors or formulas or even finishes. I'm going to try the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the Matte Formula. These are cream shadows. Cream shadows are beautiful. They are really beautiful worn alone. They give a beautiful, long lasting look to the eye. And if it's a good formula, it resists creasing. Also easy to apply and blend. Cream eyeshadows are a beautiful way to get a smoky eye that looks really professionally done because it blends into that puff of smoke so well. Diffused black. We're gonna try nude cashmere. This soft brown is called flawless beige. And this milk chocolate is called chocolate veil. Hopefully I will love this formula. Relatively recently, Charlotte Tilbury also released the beautiful skin sun-kissed glow bronzer and this is a cream formula. You can always count on Charlotte for some glam packaging. I resisted the urge to buy every single one and I got tan number three. She reformulated her Feline Flick Liquid Eyeliner. This is her eyeliner pen. I am always on the hunt for the perfect liquid eyeliner. So we'll see what this one is about. The other thing that artists go through like water are brow pencils. So this is the Brow Cheat. I have never tried Charlotte's brow product. This is the Pat McGrath Perma Gel Pencil. I've gone through more of these than I can count at this time. This is a staple and a keeper. I love all the shades. They go on rich and they stay put. Benefit has this Browsing Pro palette I've been curious about. And side note, not sure if she developed this particular product, but Danessa Myricks, if you're familiar with the fabulous Danessa Myricks, who is an extraordinary artist in her own right, but also has a gorgeous beauty brand. Uh, she has developed many products behind the scene and she's done quite a bit of work behind the scenes with benefits in times past. So that's a fun fact if you didn't know that. This kit comes with several waxes and shades of powder. I've been playing with it a little bit and it looks very promising. Viseart, this brand is a old school pro favorite brand. I have their warm matte eyeshadow palette. This is a beautiful all purpose palette. I will have to test the formula, see if it's still that good, reliable Viseart formula. I decided to try something by Makeup by Mario. Mario is a respected artist, but I have never gotten around to trying the brand. But this would be the perfect time to try the Master Mattes palette. Sephora has the nicest matte lip creams. I have two reds and this beautiful violet shade, so I wanted to get a couple of nudes. This next brand just has me sprung, <laughs> and that is Gucci Beauty. From the time that they announced, that this product was going to be released. I had been stalking it and I knew it had to be mine. But the items that I have from Gucci Beauty and their aesthetic and their quality, this beautiful frosted heavy glass bottle with this gold top and the vintage old Hollywood touches they put on their packaging. So this is the Glow Hydrating Mist. Tom Ford is another luxury beauty brand that has not let me down. I've actually used this in a mini tutorial. You can check that out on Instagram. This is the Traceless Soft Matte Primer. And I knew from the time I tested it on the back of my hand that it was beautifully done. This is a beautiful, Primer. We're also going to try the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. I just mentioned the Queen Danessa Myricks a little while ago. I am going to be giving her Yummy Skin Foundation a try. I've been pretty happy with all of the Huda Beauty products that I have tried. Try to ignore 
that she had a new concealer, but I just couldn't resist any longer. Then I have a couple of practical things that you may not think you need, but that really come in handy. Now, typically on set, stylists will use these, but a lot of people are familiar with these, and these are protector hoods. Drape that goes over your face so that if you already have your makeup done, you can dress without ruining your clothing. I'm a big proponent of skincare, but one of the things that still gets neglected a bit is body skin care. A lot of people just shower and go, believe it or not, or they may use a bit of lotion, but it is good to take your body skin care a step further and there are nice products out there to do that with. I've talked in the past about uh, body skin products with glycolic or acid or AHAs and things of that nature. So Pharmacy, a brand that I do like, they have a Honeymoon Glow Body Serum. And then this product I've actually used before, but I haven't had it in my collection in a long time. This is Pharmacy's Honey Savior. And this is an all over skin repair salve is what they call it. So it's sort of like an ointment. It goes on almost as if it's actually honey. It smells good. It's so soothing. It adds a beautiful gleaming effect to the skin. But more than that, it's conditioning. A beautiful mood lifter and a way to get out of a rut is to incorporate fragrance into your daily and nightly routine. The brand I was introduced to relatively recently, this is Ellis Brooklyn, anything with Brooklyn in the name, of course has stolen my heart. But this fragrance is called Sun Fruit and it is so good. It is so scrumptious. It's a little sweet, it's a little tart. It's slightly different from your usual fruity fragrance. Valentine Valentino released a new flanker to the Born in Roma line. Valentina Donna Born in Roma is intoxicating. And this particular one, this latest release for summer is Coral Fantasy. It has a kiwi note that is delicious. I wish it lingered a little longer, but the overall fragrance just smells pretty and yummy. And I love that some of the brands go the extra mile with the packaging, even though it's a travel size, this soft touch, beautiful rock stud container is such a pretty touch. It can be so much fun to try something different or unique or step out of your comfort zone too when it comes to fragrances. This is from Dolce & Gabbana's Fruit Collection. And this particular one is the lemon. I have the pineapple and I knew I loved it. And ever since then, I have been so curious about the other scents that came in this particular line. When I first saw them in photos, I thought the packaging might be a little cheesy, but in person, this is really luxe. This is heavy glass and the fruit inspired cap is weighted as well. Now I'm not typically someone who would gravitate toward a lemon fragrance. Like for instance, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, <laughs> speaking of Dolce & Gabbana, is an extremely popular fragrance. I never quite gravitated toward it. I'm not particularly a freshie, but as my taste have expanded with fragrances, I am appreciating having some variety in your scent wardrobe. And I was determined to try the orange as well. And I really like this one. If I had to put them in order, I think I like pineapple, orange, and lemon in that order. One way you might know that you should get a particular perfume is if you just can't get the fragrance out of your head. And that was the case with this Atelier Cologne Vanille Encense or Vanilla Incense. It is so odd and delicious. It's like a burnt brown sugar, some vanilla, but there's a tartness, almost as if somebody squeezed a drop of lime on top. And then it has that incense quality. It's a beautiful vanilla. And I decided to have one shipped to me and I'm so happy to have it. This is a beautiful sensual vanilla. Another recent acquisition that was me stepping out of my comfort zone was Tom Ford's Sole Neige. Again, YouTuber AI The Great recommended this fragrance. I actually do think this smells beautiful. This has so many elements. It's slightly fresh, it's slightly sweet, it's slightly floral. And then what perks a girl up and pulls her out of a rut like 
pink. So we added a few pieces from the Moschino Toy 2 Bubblegum Collection. Now this all started because I was on the hunt for something fun and yummy to compliment my Parfum de Marley Oriana perfume. I decided on this Toy 2 Bubblegum Body Lotion and discovered they had a bath and shower gel so I couldn't leave that there, could I? Because it's so fun, girly, and pretty. I ended up getting the perfume as well. If any of the tips about getting out of a beauty rut resonate with you, I would love to hear that in the comments, along with what you use to perk yourself up, or maybe some of the tips that you particularly plan to apply in your own life. Also, let me know what you think about the new pretty products. Another good pick-me-up is adding a little polish and perfection to your current makeup routine. And I have a great way to do that in a recent instructional video about real professional tips that are easy to follow that will elevate your foundation application. So I will link that here. I look forward to seeing you in the very next video. But until next time, keep it pretty.